it is Razor 12 yt Today, I'm here to address one thing in mind. It is the new requirements in order to become a Knight Commander. Yay! So before we get into any of the huge top 5 tips thing, like, it is a top 5 tips video, I'm going to show you the new requirements to become a KC. Yes, you're gonna like it. All right, everyone, so I want to show you this. So, to be commander, you need to have, like, like no length of service, obviously. Then for the minimum game time, you're going to need 300 minutes of game time. But in the meantime, you could get the warrior badge. Now, this is absolutely required if you want to become a KC. You don't need a minimum points because that's going to go into effect later, and I'm going to explain the new system. So, you need to have the ability to follow orders, which is just listening to the higher-ups, which is me and the goatee and a bunch of others. Now, gentlemen, we're going to do the top five tips on how to get the warrior badge, since you're all going to need that to become Knight Commander. Or even attempt to become a Knight Commander in the first place. So what I'm going to do is teach you how. In five tips. Okay, so tip number five is a pretty strange one to be exact. You see this ramp leading up to Brick God? Well, what I'm going to do is, is jump by using the sword and killing the opponent there. Now, what I just did was the death from above move. What you do is you jump off from the top part of the ramp when, you know, the enemy comes up, like, right here. And then you jump on them and you kill them. It's that simple and the enemy won't see you unless they decide to zoom out. And, you know, they got you. Alright, so tip number four is this bow. Now, I know what you're going to say, Razor 12, are you going to bow spam in this one? The answer is yes. You know why? Vikings can be killed from a safe distance without having you to get killed yourself. But, just remember folks, you can do this as Viking or Knight, depending on the circumstances. But, I really think VC have a similar requirement. If you could tell me in the comments below, that would be appreciated. But in all seriousness, bow spamming might be a viable option to actually win. So, let's go on to number three. Okay, guys. So, for number three is this hammer. Now, if you are a noob lord or a knight commander like me, which is obviously going to go away by July, like, I'm not going to be... Ugh. Okay, let's just get cut to the chase. So, this hammer here, noob lords can easily throw that by pressing F. So, noob lords, uh, I don't know if you can press F, to throw a battle hammer, but I'm pretty sure it works. I guess because you you know you go dee, 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 with the hammer, and you could get massive amounts of kills from that as well. All right, everyone. Now we're gonna move on to number two. So over here is this bomb. Watch what I'm gonna do with the bomb. I just threw a bomb, but in order to perfect this, you need to jump. But how? You just press the space bar, you move forward, oh, yeah, bombing's just number two, but it does deter the Vikings away, or bombs any unsuspecting Vikings that are currently fighting you. Pretty useful. Alright, everyone, now we got number one, the sword. Now, this sword is useful if you're Viking, Knight, or any other class. Oh, and by the way, if there is a witch... Always use the shield because witches can jump on you and clap you in seconds if you don't use that. But only do that if they drink a buffy potion. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Welcome to my YouTube video. Oh, yes. It's Vudism. Welcome to the show. All right. So I talked to Vudism and it was pretty good. He's my friend. You should go to his game sometime. Yeah. But anyways, that'll be all for today, and I hope this advice will get you the warrior badge. 
But I want to remind you one thing. Anyone can get the warrior badge. Viking, knight, pretty much anyone in this game. But keep in mind, you're also going to need 300 minutes of game time. But you'll eventually pick that right up as you get the 100 kills. So it takes commitment to get this badge. And when you get this badge, come talk come talk to any goatee or high marshal and they're going to host a tryout. All right, guys, I'm going to be going now. So bye. Have a good day. We crashed into